Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey and here on my channel we talk about personal growth, planning, and personal finance. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of the Kunitsa reading journal. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. So to start off, I want to talk about some of the basic specs of this journal. So this journal is an eight and a half by six inch journal. The cover is a like vegan leather leatherette and I have the latte color. And this journal retails for $27.95 on the Kunitsa website, and I'll have that linked down below. And in general, this book can hold 105 book reviews. So let's get started. So when you first open up the journal, the first page is your nameplate page, so it just says belongs to. Then we do have a page for a quote. So this quote's by Oprah Winfrey. It says, reading is a way for me to expand my mind, open my eyes, and fill up my heart. So next we go into our index pages. So we have two full spreads of this. So it allows you to put your page number and then the content on that page. So this book is numbered. So this index section is more specifically for the book reviews, not the other extras that are in the beginning of the book. So you have two full spreads of that. And then we have another quote on this page. And then this page just explains kind of what is in the book in general. So I'll zoom in a little bit. So at the top, you have a little welcome message from the team at Kunitsa. And then at the bottom, it shows you what's inside. So within the process section, we have books to read, books finished, your favorite books, books you did not finish, books lent slash borrowed, and then book reviews. And then on the other side, you have the extras, which include the index, the daily reading tracker, the reading challenge, and draw in book stack. So the next page has your daily reading trackers. So on the daily reading trackers, each page is a full year. So you can put in the year up here and then you have all 12 months and then all days possible for the month. So obviously some months are not the full 31 days. So, you know, it makes up for that. So on here, it allows you to just, you know, fill in the box of each day and then you can keep track of how many days that you've read in that year. So specifically this, so specifically there are one, two, three, four pages of the daily reading tracker, which are one year per page. So you can track four years of reading. So next we have the reading challenge pages. So the, this spread is all encompassing. So the books to read page here is in reference to the reading challenge. So on the left hand side, you can create a reading challenge. So as you see at the top has reading challenge, and then you can create the total amount of books that you want to read within the allotted time that you um, distinguish and you can put the start and end dates and then you can fill up the bookmark like color it in as you finish the challenge. So you have so the full spread of this is both the reading challenge, you know, page and then the books that you're planning on reading within that reading challenge. So on the books to read page, it has the title and the author and then who the book is recommended by. So in total, you have one, two, three spreads of the reading challenge you know, spreads with the books to read. And then after that, you have one, two, three and a half. So three and a half spreads of just straight up books to read. So this could just be books in general that you want to read, not particularly for the reading challenges specified in the previous pages. So it has the same layout, the title author and then recommended by. So a good amount of space for you to put in the books that you want to read. And then on the other page, it has a quote. The next we have our books finished. So we have about three spreads, I believe. One, two, three. Yes, so we have three spreads of books finished with an accompanying like book illustration where you can write the name of the book on the spine and like color it in. So it's just like a different way of showing this um, and you know, a fun way for you to visualize the books that you finished and then specifically on the books finished page you have the title and author of the book and you can give it a one to five star rating so like i said before there's three spreads of the books finished with the book illustration so then after that you have 
a full spread of the book's finished pages. So you have one, two, three and a half full spreads of the book's finished pages. So this kind of mirrors the previous reading challenge section where it has three spreads of the illustration and the books to read and then three and a half spreads of just the books to read pages. So very similar. And then it has a quote on the next page. Next we have our favorite books. So this has space for you to write your, the title and author of the favorite book and the genre. So you have a full spread here and then one, two, three, four, four and a half. So you have four and a half spreads of your favorite books. So that is nine pages of favorite book pages. So, and you can fit probably around like 20 books in each page. So definitely a good amount of space for your favorite books. So then we move into the did not finish section. And these pages are all pretty similar in how they're set up. So you also have title, author, and why you did not finish it. So we have, so we're looking at a full spread of that currently. And then in total you get one, two, three, four, four and a half spreads of the did not finish. So this also follows the favorite books section. So then we move into books lent out and books borrowed. So we have the title author and to whom and date for books lent out and the same exact thing for books borrowed. So we have one, two, three, four, four and a half spreads of those pages. So now we get into the main part of the reading journal and that is the review section. So each review page has in the top right hand corner, you can indicate whether it's a physical book or an audiobook, And then you can detail the title, the author, and then you can specify the details of the book. So genre, pages slash length, first published, original language, recommended by and recommended to. And then on this side, you can put the date that you started, the date that you finished, and then you can rate how exciting it was from one to five, ease of reading from one to five, and my overall rating from one to five. And then at the bottom of the page, you have three questions. And those questions are, what did you think of the book? What was the most interesting slash intriguing slash challenging slash surprising? And then what are you going to take away from this book? So these pages are dot grid, not lined. So you have the dot grid in here, which, you know, is kind of a personal preference type of thing, but I don't mind it. And then on the right hand page, you just have straight up thoughts slash quotes, and it's just a full dot grid page. So that's what the entire spread looks like. And like I said before, there are 105 pages of this review section. Um, also, you can see here that this does have two bookmarks, one that's like a cream color and one's like a darker brown. So, and they do like work on the whole edge thing. So you can close the book, have the, the ribbon and then open it with the ribbon. So that's always a nice touch. So yeah, like I said before, there are 105 pages of the book reviews. And then towards the end of the book, So then at the end of the book, you have kind of a tips and sample layout pages. So you can kind of see their recommendation on how to fill out the book. So you have the first, you know, the first spread. So books to read and books finished. And you can see how the company recommends, you know, laying it out. It also gives you a little bit of a description of how they laid it out. So you have that for most of the pages. So we have over here, favorite books did not finish, books lent out and books borrowed, the review page. So it gives you like a very good example of what the review page could look like. And then it also has your index and daily reading tracker. And then the last two pages show you how to fill out the reading challenge and the other like illustration of the book stack. And that is the end. So after that, you have one dot grid page. Um, this page doesn't have any dots on it. So it's just like the ending section. And then that's it. So, so on the back, it does have the Kunitsuko logo in like gold foil, the same gold foil that's 
on the front um, with the title. So that's what it looks like. So yeah, so, and let me just make note, there is nothing on the spine of this book. So um, if you put this in a bookshelf, you will, you won't be able to tell what it is right away, which um, honestly, that's personal preference on whether that's a pro or a con, but just wanted to point it out. Um, so yeah, so this is my flip through slash review of the reading journal by Kunitsa. Um, as you can see, I haven't used this journal yet, but I have created um, the same type of spreads, um, like the review spreads with the thoughts and quotes in my bullet journal. And I actually kind of based them off of this reading journal. So I have tested this layout with you know, doing book reviews and I do really like it. So I do see myself using this a lot. I'm an avid reader. Um, I read over a hundred books a year. So this will definitely get used and will be well loved. So let me know down in the comments below if you're interested in purchasing this journal. Also, I'll put the link to this journal down below so you can um, go and visit the site right from here. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like this video, if you are interested in this journal, what your thoughts are. And before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!